Hi Virgo. So for this reading, you know, this is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Virgo. We can get a sense of the energies and messages for the week. And specifically, I will uh, select cards for an awareness, for guidance and for possible outcomes. Renewal of peace. So what a beautiful illustration of the squirrel and the frog and the butterfly and the baby sleeping in the tree, uh, raccoon perhaps there. So renewal of peace is a call to you to find something that brings you peace, to uh, create that little corner of your home of where you live or your life where you truly are able to experience peace and whatever that means to you, peace of mind, whether it's quiet, stillness, meditation, reflection, uh, uh, renewal of peace. So this also suggests that perhaps there's been disruption and there, maybe there's been a little bit of chaos. And yes, we can all take our fair share of chaos and, and hectic lifestyles, but eventually we just need days where we need some peace. And so if you are fortunate enough where you are able to do so, then that's, you know, it's simply a great strategy. And again, it's hard when you have young children, you have family, you have, um, you know, extended family in the area and you're thinking I can never catch a break, but maybe that leads itself to a discussion with your partner about, I really need a little time for myself. Renewal of peace could also mean taking yourself out to get a massage, taking yourself to the spa, something peaceful, bringing you serenity, bringing you stillness so that you can catch up with balance and that you can feel centered. So simply a lovely card, innocent baby sleeping without a care in the world. And wouldn't it be nice to have that feeling? occasionally not every day but on occasion so let's take a look at our body yes which by the way is the is to me it's the greatest word in the world saying yes and this says help me trust my feelings as the accurate barometer of truth. And that's wonderful, but really saying yes opens up the doors to you, opens up the new experiences. If you always say no, or you're not interested, you're not interested, you're not interested, you just continually, you close down the size of that room. And so make your room as large as it can be, say yes to new experiences. Say yes. It's three letters. The most simple word with the biggest bang for its buck is to say yes. And it's to say yes to creativity, say yes to dating and the potential of rejection or, or failure. Say yes to new side jobs or side hustles. Say yes to things. And then, then you have the experience to make that decision whether or not it's right for you. But if you start out of the gate saying no, then you've shut that door. How do you know what's behind the door if you don't open it? So I just, I love seeing this because, uh, you know, it was a discussion that I had with a friend of mine about just say yes. What do you have to lose? Now, if it's something that you're, you know, being a daredevil and you're going to bungee jump with, you know, uh, some people say yes to that and you have to find the yeses that agree with your lifestyle and with your purpose. So saying yes involves also and assumes a risk because you're taking on either more responsibility. You may be taking on a whole nother path to your life, which may impact those around you because maybe they're not so thrilled with it. Um, so for our body to say yes, 
It's certainly also to free out the, the no, no, no mindset and the clenched fist and, and the tightness. So beautiful message for, for body, for spirit or emotional self, spiritual self, emotional self. We'll find out what's going on for that. Have fun. When was the last time that you had fun? Well, something silly. So again, saying yes might be going down the water slide at the park with your kids or with friends, just your adult friends. Uh, maybe the wine winery tour, have fun. Uh, all work and no play, again, I've said it before, is a drag. So do things that put a smile on your face, have fun, uh, enjoy big belly laughs. And if it's, if you're watching television and that's how, what, or how you define fun, then watch television. Uh, if you're out playing golf, playing tennis, exercising, running in races, do the things that make you feel alive and make you feel happy. If it's uh, cooking, I mean, there's so many ways. It's how, whatever makes your, your temperature rise, I suppose. So do the things that, that are going to be fun for you. Because the work, 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 unless you are doing exactly what you want to do in life, that no job is perfect. And uh, you have to perhaps compartmentalize and leave some of the work at the office. And then when you get home, when you get to your life at home or wherever it may be, you do something fun. It's so restorative to do that. It's so uplifting. And it goes certainly in tandem with yes, you know, saying yes, saying yes to having fun, you know, saying yes to bringing peace to your life. So two very powerful, it's really three very powerful messages so far of finding peace, having fun and being open to saying yes to the many, many, many experiences that we face within a short lifetime. So, for a, let's say, let's do weekly focus, in addition to having fun and saying yes. Ask. Ask, so that's, again, it's, um, this one says, uh, ask for help in your situations. The free will that allows you to make your own choices. Patiently await your request. Ask the people within your community, within your circle, when you need something, when you need new experiences, when you need to have fun. Call a friend, text a friend, say we need to go out and do something. Let's break the routine. Let's go on a day trip. Let's go on a road trip. Let's get in the car and just chat. Whatever it may be that's going to help bring you peace, ask, don't be afraid to ask. And maybe if it's the timing isn't quite right, maybe, maybe the timing will be better in days to come or weeks to come. But this is a child in prayer. However you, however you ask, whether you are praying, meditating, reflecting, physically picking up the phone or or reaching, reaching out by email, ask. I mean, there's no harm in doing that. There's no harm. And it'll help again to open up your sense of spirit and to open up your opportunities to have fun and to broaden your own horizons. The other message with this ask is that you will get the support that you need. You have to trust the universe, you have to trust divine source or God that you will get the help that you need. But again, you have to, you have to send it out there. You have to ask, you have to state it and put it out there. So for the theme of the week, we'll choose a card.
initiative. Wow. So initiative and having initiative and taking the initiatives again, decisions and choices you're in charge of for the most part, you have control over how you lead your life. If you're in a situation at, um, the office where you are being treated unfairly or you're being treated uh, not with the respect that you deserve, you have to take the initiative to try to right that. And if it's not made better by asking, then you have to take the steps to either find a different job or a different department, whatever it may be. But sitting around and thinking that it's all going to work out might be folly. So think of, you know, how can you take the steps to create the life that you want? You have to take the initiative to have fun. You have to ask, you have to say yes. You have to hope that your friends or, you know, maybe it's something you're doing by yourself that you're going to say that they're going to say yes, but really taking the initiative. If you want to learn to read tarot, take the initiative, get yourself a deck. How you proceed from there is up to you, whether you want to just do it by looking at the illustrations and intuiting it, or if you want to have some historical knowledge, traditional structure of this 600 year old, or maybe even older, brilliant system that there is. You, you make the move, you make the order, you buy the, the deck, you start. So initiative, it's all in your hands. What you want is right there, but you have to make the first step. You have to say it, you have to believe it and move forward. So renewal of peace. If you are having again, chaos and hectic times, find and ask for a way to get that, to get that peace back into your life. The same thing with having fun. The same thing with saying yes to many up to, to opportunities and experiences. Let's see if I can get these in here. So I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading for the week. And I hope that you have a very peaceful and fun week. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and let me know what you're doing and how you find peace. I'd be curious and what kind of fun do you hope to have for the week? So hope to see you again next week. So take care. Bye-bye.